Okay guys, here it is, <clears throat> my package which is going to put the cat amongst the pigeons. Nobody's guessed so far what it is, but I'm pleased to tell you, well, I'm pleased, you might not be. I've bought myself a Kez Master Tool. Uh, because I am going to remap the car myself. Well, technically not remap the car myself. I'm going to get the, the ECU map off the car and I'm going to send it to someone who's going to alter the variables to give it a stage one and a few other bits. Then I'm going to flash the ECU myself and see where we go. Uh, it's all about budget. So I'm trying to do this uh, in the most cost effective way without having to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a map but still get something from it that the car will run on uh, and act um, accordingly to what it's supposed to do rather than me start messing with the variables and end up blowing up my car or you know anything that I shouldn't be doing yes there's a danger I could brick the ECU but there's a danger that a mapper could do damage there's a there's a danger in it all it's, nothing's perfect so I don't want people to follow what I'm doing and then blame me when it goes wrong it's up to you as a viewer but I'm doing this for me because I want to have a go at doing it it's something different because other people uh, there's a, there's a, there's quite a few different Focus ST YouTubers out there and we're all doing virtually the same thing so I'm trying to find stuff to do that they haven't done or uh, people have barely scratched the surface with so uh, this is one of the things I came up with now I've, I've had a look at the software I've watched some tutorials I'm pretty sure I can pull this map off and I will then discuss in part two um, what I'm going to do or who I'm going to use now this comes with a bag of stuff now I know all I need is the ODB lead and a USB lead and this the Kez Master Toolbox the software is already on my laptop so without further ado I'll see you in the car okay so I've plugged the ODB cable in which runs there to the Kez Master Box USB cable is then plugged in there and into my laptop laptops fully charged holds about eight hours of charge um, it does tell you to put uh, a, a an extension on on your chart on your laptop so it doesn't go flat while it's doing it because obviously that can cause issues um, now because this is a cloned version of uh, K-Suite you can't have it connected to the internet whilst you're doing it So um, you just crack on and see what happens. <laughs> this is the first time I've connected it to the car. Uh, as you can see, the K suite's open. Um, let's try and find my car. There it is. So what we need to do first from the tutorials is we need to create an ID first. So click on ID, select and it tells you it's uh, about connecting your car to um, a charger or stabiliser. Uh, now I've got to switch on the dash. So I put the key in the ignition first. Go, go. Uh, 
All right, we're on. I'm going to click OK. It's communicating with the car. Gives you the VIN number and everything. So we know it's correct. So I'm going to create um, a new folder on the desktop. And I'm going to call it Focus ST. Uh, ST225 and save. So you switch off the dash to continue. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory um, when you're doing it. Right, so in that folder now, if I double click on it, is the ID. Which I, which I never put in the folder like an idiot. So now I need to read, select. Again, it's telling me to connect it. It does give you a voltage monitor and it likes it to be 12 volts or, you know, around 12 volts. Mine is 12 volts because the battery is in good condition. But that still doesn't excuse the fact I'm not I don't have a trickle charger, I'm just simply um, reading the ECU at the moment, but I will uh, get one for when I write to the ECU because I don't want it to mess up. So it's going to ask me where to save it and what to call it as well in a second. There you go, it's now reading the ECU. Now, these clones does explain, a lot of them doesn't work on Windows 10. I am running Windows 10 64 bit, and this works fine. But you've got to make sure it's not connected to the internet. As you can see um, from my desktop, there's all my Ford stuff on there, Force Scan, um, Galetto. I have tried um, on my one of my previous vehicles, I had um, a Zafira GSI with the Z20 LET um, two liter turbo in. Uh, I had it eventually running at 245 brake horsepower for a seven seater. That's quite quick. Uh, it did have a VXR turbo on it. Uh, it was already on when I bought it, but I um, found uh, a mapper and I got some maps from him and. They're just, just generic maps and a, a, a trial and errors with a Galetto and I could read and write to uh, my ECU on that quite easily. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a go with this. Um, try and stick with the budget. The Master, um, Clone Master, cost me uh, £60 delivered. Uh, it doesn't need any tokens because if you bought an original it's about £1,500. And then you have to buy tokens that, um, to use it. But this, the tokens, there's no tokens with this. They're, they're unlimited. Um, some mappers will frown upon it and tell you that clone stuff is dubious. It is. Anything that's cloned is dubious. It all depends on what you want to do.
There we go. Now it's asking me where to store it. So I'm going to store it in there. I'm going to name it the same as the ID, but I'm going to call it ECU Original. Keep following the instructions, switch off the dash, click OK, there you go, my ECU is now red, so in here, there's the ECU file. Um, correct size as well from what I've been reading so it's read that correctly I just all I need to do now is send it off to um, email it to the mapper the, well a mapper who will then do what he wants to do to the the map and send it me back I'll then get a modified version of my original map and then I'll do part two video I'll uh, talk about um, who I've used for mapping, how much it's cost, uh, and then we'll do the, the map together on the video and then uh, take it for a test drive. So, fingers crossed. Welcome back everyone. For those of you that didn't watch the last video, I bought myself a Kez version 2 uh, cloned remapping tool, ECU reader, whatever you want to call it trying to do a budget remap on the Focus ST. So after managing to get the map off the ECU correctly, I then set about locating a mapper I could use on a tight budget. Now there's lots of people out there, you can buy just files, uh, uh, generic files off eBay. I actually wanted to talk to somebody that hopefully I picked knew what they were doing. So I, I, I contacted three or four different ones, including some on eBay. And to be honest, I wasn't I wasn't um, uh, hopeful that I was going to find somebody that was worth using. Uh, just for the simple reason being, I was quite honest when I spoke to him and said I want to use this in a YouTube video. Um, and I got a few knockbacks, to be honest. They didn't want anything to do with being on YouTube. Uh, think, Take it from that what you will. Uh, but one thing that did particularly stand out was uh, a, a business called Postal Remaps. Now, they are an eBay business. Uh, I contacted them, they're quite happy. They're, they're snowed under with work at the moment. Um, so I was I was lucky to get a map from them. Um, as it transpires, after a, a dialogue with them, they uh, it's two gentlemen that are mechanics stroke technicians by trade. Uh, they also retail the uh, Kez and other equipment, all legitimate full-blown licensed stuff you know cost thousands of thousands of pounds so it's not just some random lad that's got a few maps flogging them on ebay uh, i paid 25 pound for the map it's supposed to be a stage one uh, map with overrun pops and a uh, hard limiter cut uh, so what i'm going to do now is i've got it all ready to put on the system onto the ecu so without further ado, I'll uh, start doing it now and give a bit of a, a rundown of what I'm doing. Laptop is uh, not connected to the internet yet. It's in, in aeroplane mode again.
just wait for the uh, K suite to start up. Bit cold out here today, a bit chilly. Here we go. What we'll do is we'll do a quick ID run to make sure the communication's up and running. So uh, just bear with us. We'll do an ID run. I'll fast forward it from here so you're not bored. Well, looks like there's a communications error somewhere. So hopefully somebody will be able to help me out with this. Uh, tell me where I've gone wrong. Leave your comments below. Tell me where you think I've gone wrong if you know what, I'm, what I've been up to. Um, and see where we go from there. I'll keep you as highly informed of what's happening. Well, that didn't go according to plan. Uh, luckily though, I've managed to get the original file uh, back on. So uh, a little bit of research and see what goes on. Um, just so people don't think I've broken the car. I'll start it. So there we go, uh, I'll get back to you on the next video. Okay, we're doing a second uh, right now. I spoke to the mapper and he explained that it could be just a glitch as it got all the way to 100% and then <coughs> did what he did. Uh, so currently while I'm talking now, it's, I'm doing it again, see if it'll work. Uh, and he said if it doesn't, to contact him and he will manually uh, alter, uh, do the checksum for me and then send me the file back uh, which was fantastic, no extra charge and this is what I was looking for with doing uh, a cheap way of mapping your car I wanted someone to still look after uh, what was going on in a sense um, that they could help rather than some random person that's just got some maps and flogged them and has no idea what they're doing they, they, these people do so I'll keep you informed in what's going on and uh, it's nearly done. So let's have a look. Okay, I suppose the proof's in the pudding now. Let's see if she starts. No, she doesn't start, so I think it's the checksum. Um, I'll get back to you when I've... Good morning, everyone. It's a cold Sunday morning here in the northwest, And I've been in contact with the mappers. And he's uh, redone the map for me and manually did the checksums. So I'm going to try one more time with this map. Uh, then if not, I'm going to uh, re-evaluate 
where to go next. Uh, but all I know is it's fun trying. I haven't broken anything and it's a massive learning curve. And hopefully uh, what things I'm doing, I can pass on to you as, as viewers and you can make your own decisions on whether you want to buy a cloned Kez V2 and, and try it yourselves. As I've found out the hard way, that uh, the clones uh, don't do checksums like the um, full legitimate systems do, because uh, it should actually uh, do its checksums. So you'd have to manually do your own checksums, but the map has kindly done it for me. Uh, there's also the risk of other things happening, like uh, it not actually working, to be honest. You, you, it's a massive risk. You, you're buying a cloned piece of equipment from China that's made on a really low budget, I mean, £60 are paid for, for mine, delivered. To actually buy the Kez Master, it's about £2,000. So, you know, it, it's pretty obvious it's a risk. So, without further ado, I'm going to try and put this map on now. Nearly there. Oh, let the drum roll. It's getting exciting. Right, the writing is to the ECU has been completed without any problems. So, let's start the car and see what happens. Okay, welcome back. This is going to be the last time I am going to try myself. Um, I've been in constant contact with um, Postal Remaps and they've um, managed to do me a completely new file. Uh, there's, there's a problem with uh, cloned Kezes um, which can vary with problems uh, but uh, apparently it also varies with different cars whether there is a problem and from what I've been reading and learn um, the Focus ST225 is one of those problems if you want pop and bangs on your map if you just wanted a straightforward stage one stage two uh, you simply just ask for a stage one file, give them your original, they'll com they'll do the modifications to the file, send it you back, and it'll go straight on and work. But the fact I wanted extra bits on, which um, the fact I wanted extra bits on has caused the issue uh, because it's a clone. They were even going to send out somebody who was local. That had an original Kez to help me out, um, which I thought was absolutely fantastic for the price I paid. But luckily, it, fingers crossed, this map should be it, and it's the final time. So I won't bore you with any more talking, and I'll fast forward it up to just before it's finished. Well, it's all written. <sighs> right, fingers crossed, everybody. We have lift off. So, well, there we go. 
finally written, cars started, check sum was correct. The mappers have been absolutely amazing with me. There's been no any problems whatsoever, they've dealt with it straight away. You, you can be in contact with them, they've got a, um, a telephone number and you can WhatsApp them at any time, which I've done. Um, and they've been absolutely brilliant. I can't fault them for £25 at bargain. All I've got to do now is do some test driving. Uh, it's ticking over on idle nicely. It's freezing cold out here at the moment, so obviously the idle's high. Uh, but I'm going to sit and just let the engine warm up now. Let's see what she's like. And I'll test drive it later on. And I'll get my cameras charged, get them stuck up inside the car and outside the car. And I will let you know what goes on. Well, thank you very much for... for Stay in tune to this long-winded um, installation and I uh, hope you stick with me for the journey ahead. I've got some more exciting things coming, uh, things that other people haven't done and hopefully uh, you as viewers will like them and keep an eye out for my new shorts as well. I'm trying that, uh, see if that's any good. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm a bit of a lunatic for actually doing this myself, whether you do it anything like that let's have a chat about it in the comments you tell me and i'll have a chat with you back about it thanks for watching now i've picked my daughter up say hello say hello got to drive home now this should be fun
Hello viewers, welcome back. Uh, thanks for joining me again. This is the final part of the uh, group of videos I did about remapping my own car. Uh, just want to talk to you about the different options you do have. Um, so I've obviously, I've looked, I've looked into it before I did it myself, but I was looking for content uh, that other ST um, owners haven't done. And I was also looking at costs um, and all of the ins and outs, bad bits that could possibly happen. Um, so I made my decision knowing full well of the financial implications if it all went wrong. Uh, the ST is not my daily driver, it, it just, in fact, um, I think I haven't even done a thousand miles since I've owned it, um, which is what, 10 months. So obviously I knew the implications if it was off the road because I'd broke it it was off the road it's as simple as that so I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it. I've, I've been driving it around a little bit so uh, I used it on the skill run not a good idea the map is really really aggressive um, I haven't put the original back on because I want to do um, a little bit of driving footage with my GoPro on the outside so hopefully that will be on the end of this video. Um, so basically what I paid was uh, £60 including delivery for the um, Kez uh, version 2 clone master. Uh, there's no tokens with it so you don't have to pay for anything. It operates but you've got to operate it um, not connected to the internet otherwise it won't work. And it, apart from that, the other thing I found out about cl the clones is the fact that um, they don't do the checksums. Now the original does, as I found out from uh, Postal Remaps, who is the mapping company I chose. Um, now they are an eBay company, and I know what you're all thinking, why would you buy a map on a eBay? Well, if you do your homework enough, you can find all sorts of bargains. Now, as I said in the previous video, the two chaps that do postal remaps are both mechanic stroke technicians so they have experience in vehicles they also are resellers of the full Kez um, tool kit which is about £1,500 £2,000 so it's not like they don't know what they're doing and they stuck with me the whole way and any problems they sorted it out so for £25 I got albeit a very aggressive stage one remap uh, with pops, bangs and overruns. Um, it is really aggressive though. So in total for me to remap my own car it cost me um, £85 plus a whole bottle of uh, nerve because it was very nerve wracking doing it myself. Would I do it again? Yes I would. I would, but I'd definitely uh, make sure that I found the right mapping company, and I think I have with Postal Remaps. So that's the first one. The second one is another eBay company, uh, but I picked these because of location. Uh, they're 25 miles from where I live, and they are a mobile remapping service. Now, they. Um, their description of what they offer is uh, a bespoke remapping service uh, for your car. These are not generic uh, ones that other dodgy remapping companies use. I'm afraid I want to put that on my advert. Uh, all the maps are specific to your car. Um, gain up to 40% more power, um, up to 30% more MPG. Uh, they do performance remaps, economy remaps, DPF deletes, EGR deletes, pops, bangs, uh, remaps for petrols and diesel engines. Now the charge at the moment is a special offer, £140. Now, uh, the good bit about that is you've got a point of contact in my eyes. Uh, somebody comes out, does it, you don't like what's going on, or you don't like it after they've gone, you ring them up, it's a point of contact. Uh, whereas mine is a bit of a, I wouldn't say a bit of a struggle, uh, but there's nobody there that, that these guys from Postal Remaps are the other side of the country sort of thing. So, um, But actually they were really helpful. They had a phone number so you could contact them. So that wasn't a problem. Uh, there's loads of other companies on the internet that do 
um, mobile remapping. So just Google mobile remapping uh, near me and it'll come up with a list of places for you to look at. Look at the Google ratings, look at the TripAdvisor ratings. It's all up to you how you do it. The popular one that I've seen with other ST users is the Dream Science iMap, the Stratagem iMap. Um, at the moment, I think they've got it on sale, it's, it's about £400 and it comes with several different maps on. Uh, you can have the custom software for an extra £100, they've got that on special offer at the moment. And it's just basically uh, a tool with a generic map, well, they are generic, but the, they have been designed and done on a rolling road. It's not like the, someone sat there and gone, well, we'll change that. Um, uh, and change that but it'll do this it's, it's been done correctly on a vehicle um, and then taken off and put into a handheld machine which is basically married to your car until you unmarry it uh, you can resell it on uh, so that's a good thing and they do hold the, the, the money so if you bought an ST and you bought a Stratagem IMAP for £400 and you used it for 12 months and you wanted to get rid of the car you could probably get near enough all your money back because you've only used one life. So that is an absolutely brilliant option. And my final option is taking your car to a company that does it. Now, where I live, uh, the, we, we're lucky enough to have a Ford specialist tuner called Motorsports Developments. It's literally about three miles from where I live as the crow flies. Um, they, they've specialised in Fords for many, many years. Now, they've developed their own software. Um, and because they actually have their own rolling road there, so you can have rolling road time as well. Uh, uh, they do other vehicles, they don't just do Fords. Uh, this is a four-wheel drive rolling road. But they've developed their own software for the, the Ford range uh, called MSD. Uh, the MSD uh, packaging system starts from... Uh, £299 for their basic package which is a MSD 260 so it's a 260 brake horsepower package uh, basically all the, what their website says it lifts power restrictions from within the ECU and enhances the power output the package includes the supply and fitment of Evolution Chips MSD 260 ECU calibration and a full engine management diagnostics check for £299 for actually someone to take it somewhere where they develop the software and stuff, I think it's, it's, it's quite reasonable. Again, for me, three miles away, point of contact, brilliant, fantastic. Now, there's other companies around the country, and my favourite company, I've bought things from them, a lot of people talk about them, is BD Performance in Wrexham. But logistically, for me, if I was going to take my car to BD Performance, it would have to be, uh, for a big job, you know, um, for me to, to justify going there um, for a whole day, two days, three days. So for me to have this done logistically would be a better option. But for people closer to BD Performance, or, or if you want to use BD, please do. Because Darren at BD Performance is so helpful. Helps a lot of people, especially other YouTubers. Uh, it doesn't give you preference, but it'll give you the time to actually do a bit of recording while you're, doing, while you're having stuff done and you'll talk to you and he's there for you. So, you know, big shout out to BD Performance. But back to what I'm doing now, um, Motorsport Development. So they do an MSD 260, which is a starting package, and they go all the way up to an STRS conversion. So they do a 280 package, which speaks for itself. Once you hit the 280 package, they actually list what you need um, hardware wise for this package to be at its full um, calibration so for the 280 is a 3 inch stainless steel full exhaust system cap replacement pipe sports cap and a performance air filter for the 300 they want that the same plus a front mount intercooler for the 320 it's a front mount intercooler and a block mod so up to 300 they're saying you know they're giving it as not saying it's safe for a block mod but they they won't do it um they won't do a 320 without a block mod 
it's recommended. It's up to you what you pick and choose. I'm happy with what I've done. I'll use Postal Remaps again. I am going to change the map. I'm going to get a straightforward stage one map uh, and uh, put it on myself. Um, I'm happy with that. The car runs beautifully. It, it does drive really well, but it's very, very aggressive. You can't really drive it around town uh, that much because it scares the heebie-jeebies out of everybody. Right, now we've gone through that. Uh, just, just obviously people probably think that I'm just doing this for uh, content but I have got parts to fit um, but the weather's been terrible and it's finding the time so just 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 to prove a point I have a new um, cold side pipe uh, from the turbo this will get rid of the forged dump valve that I've got in place of the, with the when I bought the kite, there's some pose of delay. Um, but I've also got something um, quite important to do as well. Uh, everyone keeps asking, well, not just everyone, the UC of ST keeps asking me when am I going to fit it. Just, just to prove a point, I do actually have one, I just haven't fitted it. Uh, this is a throttle body spacer. Um, you fit this when most of the time it doesn't, it's supposed to improve. Only three, four, five brake horsepower. Um, uh, the area of the throttle body, the the air area that the air goes into. Um, but what it's normally is for is meth injection because it's actually got um, a grommet, a hole in the side which you put the injector into. So when it injects the meth, it goes into the system that way. Uh, this this is what it's normally used for. But I'm going to be fitting it at the same time as I fit the pipe. Um, it's just getting the time and the weather at the moment to actually do both um, that'll just be on one video I'm not going to mess around uh, and the other thing is I've also got my um, my splitter front splitter to fit with uh, it's got wing tips on so that should be fun to fit That'll be another video, uh, but I do need um, a bit of touch up on the bottom of the bumper. The previous owner has scratched the bottom of the bumper, so I need to sort that out uh, before I fit that on. So all in all, I do have a few bits I need to get done. So without further ado, I'll see if I can get some driving footage for you. And... Um, Let's see if we can get some flames, pops and bangs for you to all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Workshop, Red Mouse Industrial Estate in Thornton. I'll leave the link in the description for everything that you need to know about them. The car's here, and here's the man himself that's going to be putting it through the dyno. Oh, that uh, They've got a channel as well. I'll put that.
these are the three runs and um, we've got on the main screen there we've got wheel horsepower 246, 245, 246 and torque 290, 300 and 296 and then flywheel figure which is what we tend to quote in this country um, is 270, 270.4 271 and then engine torque 319, 330 and 326 and that boost wise let me just try and work this with my left hand there we go so peak boost on those runs uh, 13.9, 14.1, 14.4 so just under the bar of boost there you go. Well, that's it from me. I'm off for a brew and some headache tablets. I'll see you later. Okay, let's have a look at the cost now. So it's cost me uh, £60 for the clone uh, Kez V2. Uh, the map from Postal Remaps was £25, which comes to a, 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 an estimated cost of £85. Now... The car had a standard ECU map on it, so that made it 225 brake horsepower. The remap, and on the dyno run, you could see that yourselves from the video, is 271 brake horsepower, which means I've got a massive gain of 46 brake horsepower, which I think was fantastic. So if we look at the cost against how many brake horsepower, so we've got £85, you divide that by... Uh, the again of 46 gives you 1.847 so if you round that up for every one brake horsepower i've gained has cost me one pound 85 is that a bargain was it worth it of course it was and i'd do it again every single time it was good it was dangerous but it was fun and i would do it again at a drop of a hat so thanks for watching see you all soon